In scientific nomenclature, a synonym is a scientific name that applies to a taxon that now goes by a different scientific name, although the term is used somewhat differently in the zoological code of nomenclature. For example, Linnaeus was the first to give a scientific name under the currently used system of scientific nomenclature to the Norway spruce, which he called Pinus abbeys. This name is no longer in use, it is now a synonym of the current scientific name, Picea abbeys. Unlike synonyms in other contexts, in taxonomy a synonym is not interchangeable with the name of which it is a synonym. In taxonomy, synonyms are not equals, but have a different status. For any taxon with a particular circumscription, position, and rank, only one scientific name is considered to be the correct one at any given time this correct name is to be determined by applying the relevant code of nomenclature. A synonym cannot exist in isolation, it is always an alternative to a different scientific name. Given that the correct name of a taxon depends on the taxonomic viewpoint used resulting in a particular circumscription, position and rank a name that is one taxonomist's synonym may be another taxonomist's correct name and vice versa. Synonyms may arise whenever the same taxon is described and named more than once, independently. They may also arise when existing taxa are changed, as when two taxa are joined to become one, a species is moved to a different genus, a variety is moved to a different species, etc. Synonyms also come about when the codes of nomenclature change, so that older names are no longer acceptable, for example, Erica herbacea L has been rejected in favor of Erica carnea L and is thus its synonym. <laughs> General usage To the general user of scientific names, in fields such as agriculture, horticulture, ecology, general science, etc., a synonym is a name that was previously used as the correct scientific name in handbooks and similar sources but which has been displaced by another scientific name, which is now regarded as correct. Thus Oxford Dictionaries Online defines the term as a taxonomic name which has the same application as another, especially one which has been superseded and is no longer valid. In handbooks and general texts, it is useful to have synonyms mentioned as such after the current scientific name, so as to avoid confusion. For example, if the much-advertised name change should go through and the scientific name of the fruit fly were changed to Sophophora melanogaster, it would be very helpful if any mention of this name was accompanied by Sin. Drosophila melanogaster. Synonyms used in this way may not always meet the strict definitions of the term synonym. In the formal rules of nomenclature which govern scientific names see below. Changes of scientific name have two causes, they may be taxonomic or nomenclatural. A name change may be caused by changes in the circumscription, position or rank of a taxon, representing a change in taxonomic, scientific insight as would be the case for the fruit fly, mentioned above. A name change may be due to purely nomenclatural reasons, that is, based on the rules of nomenclature, as for example when an older name is rediscovered which has priority over the current name. Speaking in general, name changes for nomenclatural reasons have become less frequent over time as the rules of nomenclature allow for names to be conserved, so as to promote stability of scientific names. <laughs> Zoology. In zoological nomenclature, codified in the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature, synonyms are different scientific names of the same taxonomic rank that pertain to that same taxon. To give examples of such synonyms using different taxa the plural of taxon, a particular species could have two or more species rank names published for it, while a particular order could have two or more order rank names published for it as well. The earliest published name is called the senior synonym, while the later name is the junior synonym. One basic principle of zoological nomenclature is that the earliest correctly published and thus available name, the senior synonym, by default takes precedence in naming rights and therefore, unless other restrictions interfere, must be used for the taxon. However, junior synonyms are still important to document, because if the earliest name cannot be used for example, because the same spelling had previously been used for a name established for another taxon, then the next available junior synonym must be used for the taxon. Objective synonyms refer to taxa with the same type and same rank more or less the same taxon, although circumscription may vary, even widely. 
This may be species group taxa of the same rank with the same type specimen, genus group taxa of the same rank with the same type species or if their type species are themselves objective synonyms, of family group taxa with the same type genus, etc. In the case of subjective synonyms, there is no such shared type, so the synonymy is open to taxonomic judgment, meaning that there is room for debate. One researcher might consider the two or more types to refer to one and the same taxon, another might consider them to belong to different taxa. For example, John Edward Gray published the name Antilocapra antiflexa in 1855 for a species of pronghorn, based on a pair of horns. However, it is now commonly accepted that his specimen was an unusual individual of the species Antilocapra americana published by George Ord in 1815. Ord's name thus takes precedence, with Antilocapra antiflexa being a junior subjective synonym. Objective synonyms are common at the rank of genera, because for various reasons two genera may contain the same type species, these are objective synonyms. In many cases researchers established new generic names because they thought this was necessary or did not know that others had previously established another genus for the same group of species. An example is the genus Pomatia Beck, 1837, which was established for a group of terrestrial snails containing as its type species the burgundy or Roman snail Helix Pomatia. Since Helix Pomatia was already the type species for the genus Helix Linnaeus, 1758, the genus Pomatia was an objective synonym and useless. At the same occasion Helix is also a synonym of Pomatia, but it is older and so it has precedence. At the species level, subjective synonyms are common because of an unexpectedly large range of variation in a species, or simple ignorance about an earlier description, may lead a biologist to describe a newly discovered specimen as a new species. A common reason for objective synonyms at this level is the creation of a replacement name. It is possible for a junior synonym to be given precedence over a senior synonym, primarily when the senior name has not been used since 1899, and the junior name is in common use. The older name may be declared to be a nomen oblatum, and the junior name declared a nomen protectum. This rule exists primarily to prevent the confusion that would result if a well-known name, with a large accompanying body of literature, were to be replaced by a completely unfamiliar name. An example is the European land snail Pedicina edentula Draparno, 1805. In 2002, researchers found that an older name Helix depilata draparno, 1801 referred to the same species, but this name had never been used after 1899 and was fixed as a nomen oblatum under this rule by Faulkner et al. 2002, such a reversal of precedence is also possible if the senior synonym was established after 1900, but only if the International Commission on Zoological Nomenclature ICZN approves an application. Note that here the C in ICZN stands for commission, not code as it does at the beginning of section zoology. The two are related, with only one word difference between their names, for example, the scientific name of the red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta was published by Buren in 1972, who did not know that this species was first named Solenopsis savissima wagneri by Sanchi in 1916, as there were thousands of publications using the name invicta before anyone discovered the synonymy. The ICZN, in 2001, ruled that invicta would be given precedence over wagneri. To qualify as a synonym in zoology, a name must be properly published in accordance with the rules. Manuscript names and names that were mentioned without any description are not considered as synonyms in zoological nomenclature. Botany In botanical nomenclature, a synonym is a name that is not correct for the circumscription, position, and rank of the taxon is considered in the particular botanical publication. It is always, a synonym of the correct scientific name, but which name is correct depends on the taxonomic opinion of the author. In botany the various kinds of synonyms are Homotypic, or nomenclatural, synonyms sometimes indicated by have the same type specimen and the same taxonomic rank. The Linnaean name Pinus abbeys L has the same type as Picea abbeys L. H. Karst. When Picea is taken to be the correct genus for this species there is almost complete consensus on that, Pinus abbeys is a homotypic synonym of Picea abbeys. However, if the species were considered to belong to Pinus now unlikely, the relationship would be reversed and Picea abbeys would become a homotypic synonym of Pinus abbeys. 
A homotypic synonym need not share an epithet or name with the correct name, what matters is that it shares the type. For example, the name Taraxacum officinale for a species of dandelion has the same type as Leontodon taraxicum L. The latter is a homotypic synonym of Taraxacum officinale Fh wig. Heterotypic, or taxonomic, synonyms sometimes indicated by smiley face, have different types. Some botanists split the common dandelion into many, quite restricted species. The name of each such species has its own type. When the common dandelion is regarded as including all those small species, the names of all those species are heterotypic synonyms of Taraxacum officinale fh wig. Reducing a taxon to a heterotypic synonym is termed to sink in synonymy or as synonym. In botany, although a synonym must be a formally accepted scientific name, a validly published name, a listing of synonyms, a synonymy often contains designations that for some reason did not make it as a formal name, such as manuscript names, or even misidentifications although it is now the usual practice to list misidentifications separately. <laughs> Comparison between zoology and botany Although the basic principles are fairly similar, the treatment of synonyms in botanical nomenclature differs in detail and terminology from zoological nomenclature, where the correct name is included among synonyms, although as first among equals it is the senior synonym. Synonyms in botany are comparable to junior synonyms in zoology. The homotypic or nomenclatural synonyms in botany are comparable to objective synonyms in zoology. The heterotypic or taxonomic synonyms in botany are comparable to subjective synonyms in zoology. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Synonym lists. Scientific papers may include lists of taxa, synonymizing existing taxa and in some cases listing references to them. The status of a synonym may be indicated by symbols, as for instance in a system proposed for use in paleontology by Rudolf Richter. In that system a v before the year would indicate that the authors have inspected the original material, a, that they take on the responsibility for the act of synonymizing the taxa. Other usage The traditional concept of synonymy is often expanded in taxonomic literature to include pro-party or for part synonyms. These are caused by splits and circumscriptional changes. They are usually indicated by the abbreviation P, P. For example, when Dandy described Gallium tricornutum, he cited G. Tricorn Stokes pro-party as a synonym, but explicitly excluded the type specimen of G. Tricorn from the new species G. Tricornutum. Thus G. Tricorn was subdivided. The Angiosperm phylogeny group's summary of plant classification states that family Verbenaceae are much reduced compared to a decade or so ago, and many genera have been placed in Lamiaceae. But Avicennia, which was once included in Verbenaceae has been moved to Acanthaceae. Thus, it could be said that Verbenaceae pro party is a synonym of Acanthaceae, and Verbenaceae pro party is also a synonym of Lamiaceae. However, this terminology is rarely used because it is clearer to reserve the term pro party for situations that divide a taxon that includes the type from one that does not. See also Chrysonym Glossary of scientific naming Ornotherus, a case history